So we're going to talk about the health informatics uh, master's degree program um, this morning. Um, this is something that uh, if, if those of you, those of you who have uh, been to one of our open houses, you've seen something similar to this. I've made a, a few changes, but I'm going to go through this really quickly because a lot of you know about a lot of this stuff already, and I want to leave time for your for your questions. So, I've already introduced myself. You can see my email address here. So I'm just going to go past this. Um, our definition that we use of health informatics here is based on the National Library of Medicine, the interdisciplinary study of the design, development, adoption, and application of, of IT-based innovations in healthcare services delivery, management, and planning. So this is the foundation for what we do in our program. At Northeastern, we take that a step further, and what we've done is established a fully interdisciplinary, pro, interdisciplinary program that covers the clinical, technical, and business and, and, and business needs of people throughout the healthcare profession. So these are all the things that you're going to do if you're a student here. Basically, you're going to end up with all the things that you need to be able to do to communicate with other professionals in any, any industry or any area or any discipline that's related to healthcare in order to help help do the things that we need to do to produce the best outcomes for the patients. So just some things about, about the program. We were the first one in the country to exclusively focus on, on health informatics. Our program stands out from a lot of other programs in that it's taught entirely by people who are senior level practitioners and leaders in the field. For most of the people who, you, who will be your professors, I'm gonna be the only one who's a full-time professor. The rest of our people are people who are out there in the field doing it now. We've also designed a curriculum that's flexible to, that, that, that matches both your expertise that you bring into this, as well as what you wanna do with your degree with you, with, with you finish, when you finish. And once again, I wanna stress, we are fully interdisciplinary. From the very beginning, we have been a combination of health sciences and computer sciences. So in addition to the masters, which is what we're talking about today, we have some graduate certificates in health informatics. There's also a PhD in personal health informatics, which is um, kind of peripherally related to our master's degree. So I've talked about clinical business and technology, and what we're looking at is informatics systems that we're gonna be working with that do all the kinds of things that you see up here. It's, it's just a massive amount of, 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 of um, connection to everything that happens in the world of managing healthcare. So just some, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna read this to you, but just to, I just put this up there so you can see that there's a huge variety of things that the systems that we work with in the informatics world do to support the, the management of healthcare. Our program overview, we've got three, three ways it can be presented. You can either do it entirely online, you can do it entirely on campus. Right now that's only in Boston or a combination of both. And one of the things that we've just done to change this is that there are some courses that were only taught on the Boston campus um, and, and never taught online. And one of the things that we're changing starting with the next semester is that we're using the technology that we used throughout the entire, um, the entire last school year to do this in a hybrid fashion so that people, so that the two or three courses that we have, they're only taught in Boston, can be accessible to you in, um, in, in a real time online basis as well. So we can truly say that everything that you, you have access to on campus, you also have access to it in an online format. Um, what you see here in average times, people who go to college, who go to the program full time, full time can complete it in 18 months. If you decide that you're going to do a co-op, you would add an, an additional six months for that because the co-ops are six months long. This is just a, a very high level overview of, of the curriculum. Some of you may have gotten a provisional acceptance which says there's a, a starting course that you have to take, but then there are, then what you need to do is a minimum of two, serve, well, you need to do two survey courses, an intro to health informatics and American healthcare system. And then you have to take what we call selectives because there's a number of things that you can choose from. 
two in the health informatics area, two in the technical area, two in the business manager area, management area, and two electives. And the electives can come from either any of the three, any of the three cores that, that you see mentioned here as well. And then at the end of the program, you're going to do a, a, a capstone course where you're, you'll pull together a lot of the things that you you uh, you need to a lot of the things that get done throughout the uh, a lot of the things that you've studied throughout the program. So I just wanted to point out to you some some information just about where you can go with this degree in health informatics. So what you see here. What, what the US Bureau of Labor Statistics has told us is that the health informatics industry is continue to, continuing, continuously growing, and it's gonna be growing at twice the rate of other industries over the next 10 years at 8%. And this just tells you this, this number that you see here for the starting salary, that's for entry-level health informatics specialists. So a lot of the people who are coming in, they may be entering as health informatics specialists, but they've got a lot of other experience in the healthcare world or in the IT world. And we have people who start off anywhere between that $67,000 up, um, up to numbers exceeding $100,000. Um, and one of the things that we've been seeing over the last few years is that employers are looking more and more to hire people who've got a degree that's specifically in health informatics as opposed to what they've done in the past. Um, that, um, which is look for with people for general IT or healthcare experience. People who are hiring health informatics people are looking very specifically for people who have got a specific degree in health informatics. And this is just a, a listing of some of the kinds of people who hire hire our, our, our graduates. They're looking, um, they're looking when we talk about providers, we're talking about hospitals or individual clinicians. We have vendors, and when we're talking vendors, we're talking anybody in the spectrum of healthcare vendors. They could be device manufacturers, they could be pharmaceutical companies. Anybody who's providing to the healthcare world is looking for, for uh, health informatics em, em, uh, employees. We have consulting firms who consult in various out ways within the uh, um, within the, uh, the the healthcare industry, and we have payers, people like insurance companies. Um, one of, the, one of the areas that I don't have listed on here, more and more we've been getting people hired as well in, in, in government, uh, government areas. We, we've got uh, some good relationships with a lot of the, a lot of the um, healthcare government, uh, go government organizations uh, like the, the Massachusetts Department of Public Health. So these are just some of the, the places that people go. And these are some of the kinds of jobs that people get. We've got people who are um, chief information officers or chief medical information officers, or directors of IT. We've got people, various levels of director, um, director um, types of jobs. We've got project managers or implementation consultants, um, various types of projects. We just, uh, I just had one of our, our graduates just tell me that she got hired by as a project manager for, uh, um, for one of the big healthcare organizations in the area. Then we have people doing analysis for all different kinds of kinds of elements of, of, of health IT and health informatics. And we also have some people who, who, are, who are working as, as software developers if they already have a computer science and, a, and, and um, software development expertise. So I said that this is going to be this is going to be brief. Um, this is my contact information. One of the things that I want to tell you, some of you may have seen this. Um, the university-wide enrollment management office has just published a whole, whole bunch of blogs about health informatics and about where you can go. That information on the slide that I had about, uh, about career prospects came from one of the blogs. If you're interested in getting links to those blogs so you can read a little bit more about us, this is my email address. I can send you those links. Um, a lot of you who are on here with us uh, this afternoon have been in contact with me already. So you know my email address, but um, if you are interested in those blogs or if you have any other questions associated with what we're talking about here today, um, this is where you can go. So Alira, I'm gonna stop, uh, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I'm gonna stop the presentation so you can stop the recording now if you want to. <laughs>